Well, I wanted to post a follow-up video on this Alice Chalmers HT5 crawler. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we ran this engine at a low idle on a cold day without the non-pressurized cooling system being completely filled with coolant and without the rusted out exhaust manifold being installed. So as a result, uh, the engine is now junk. We've destroyed the liner seals. We destroyed the head gasket. We destroyed the seals in the water pump. And we also destroyed the exhaust valves because we didn't have you know suitable back pressure from the exhaust to allow the exhaust valves to cool. So, you know, it's made it 70 years, but seven minutes of two guys, yeah, two guys from the Midwest trying to run it, just to did her right in. So, I guess we'll just have to pull it down and rebuild it. Yeah, well, we're thinking at a minimum it's going to need a complete rebuild, but probably we're just going to have to scrap it, melt it down. So, no sense in ever like driving it or anything. No, we don't want to try to use it no. or anything. Let's just go ahead and tear it down and <laughs> completely destroyed. So, sorry guys, wish I had better news. Yeah, not like I've overhauled five or six engines in my life. <clears throat> what yeah. you mean you might know what you're talking about? Yeah, I like the engine in that dozer and the engine in that dump truck, just for example. No, those don't count. <laughs> this one's junk now, so your, your reputation is completely destroyed. Mm -hmm. So, all right, quick video. Sorry, to have didn't have better news for you guys. I don't know why you're doing that. You're just polishing the brass on the Titanic, man. It's all done. It's never gonna work. It's blown up. Now nah, that's it. possible accommodations.
I shut it down. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Class action lawsuit against Alice Chalmers. Busted my hand on the clutch cat, lever. Oh, cat, huh? Oh, yeah, Challenger or Agco or whoever it is. Well, cool, man. This is cool. Oh, there's the knob that was supposed to protect my wimpy little hand here. That. Yeah. Oil leaks on a crawler? No way. Yeah. On a piece of industrial equipment? <laughs> Alright, folks, that's it. We patched the radiator. That seems to be working, kinda. Got the new exhaust. Got the starter motor adjusted, so it seems to work pretty good. It needs an injector, we think, in cylinder number two. It's just the injector that's in it went through that valve dropping ordeal. It doesn't really run right. Till so it yeah, it has to warm up for quite a while before you get both cylinders all the time. So it needs a number two injector, and it needs maybe the governor adjusted at, yeah. after we get that done. Yeah. But yeah, runs and drives. So he's got a new exhaust manifold rigged up. Looks pretty cool. Got a new alternator installed. Got the typical Detroit diesel oil leaks. Nothing wrong there. Looks good. It's just slobbering a little something out of the exhaust pipe, though. Must be a dirty trick. You must have subbed out the engine while I wasn't looking. Yeah, bro. Dropped in one that hasn't been run without coolant. We put some Lucas in it. Oh, we, we put some Lucas oil in, <laughs> additive in it. Fixed it completely. <laughs> Should put some sea foam in it. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's that Marvel mystery oil? Yeah, mar some Marvel mystery oil. <laughs> Fix her right up. Yeah. All right, cool. It's fun to drive. Very fun to drive. I like it. Well, yeah. we'll come back when you're ready to dig some dirt with it. Yeah. Probably no, could right now. Well, kids. Yeah. Well, there it is. The official coronavirus bug out vehicle. Alice Chalmers HD5. Yeah. We're going to make a very slow getaway. <laughs> very slow. Thanks for watching. I'll say what you want about that old crawler. I think it's it's faster than the alternative. <laughs> it eats like less too. Ah!